guys. All right, today we are going to be making um, my Spanish rice, and I do that with um, a veggie broth to keep it vegan, and then I add some pea protein to it. So I'm just gonna walk you through the steps. Um, I'm doing two cups of rice in a 12-inch skillet, but you can absolutely cut this recipe in half, and um, what you're gonna do is just kind of put maybe about one to two tablespoons of olive oil in your skillet, and then put your rice in the skillet on medium heat, and then we're gonna just uh, kind of toast your rice. So you're just gonna kind of leave it in place while it kind of starts to toast. Just check it every few minutes, kind of stir it around. And when it starts to brown, that's when you know that you're in business and going to be ready to start adding additional ingredients. So um, we're just gonna let that kind of sit here and cook, medium heat. What we're gonna do is we are going to chop up our green onions. So I just do one bundle of, oh, that one's broken. One bundle of green onions. So I use the whites and the greens together. And um, then we're gonna add some garlic and cook those around for a few minutes just until they become fragrant. And then we will add our liquid and a few other ingredients. Um, this is one of my favorite pairings with, um, you know, kind of like tacos, Mexican food dishes. Um, you can even just do it with like some beans. So, all right, we are making um, jackfruit enchiladas tonight. And so this will be our pairing. And the jackfruit enchiladas will come in another video. So you'll get to see that uh, coming soon. And I kind of just chop everything up accordingly. And then I press my garlic into the same pile. And we'll, I kind of take and leave like the raggedy edges. Okay, let's keep an eye on our rice here. And just kind of pull from the center. And basically what you did was you um, took your oil that was in there and kind of heating up and coated your rice in it. So it helps it uh, start to toast. So, all right, give that a little stir. We're keeping an eye on it. Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to um, get our garlic ready. We're gonna use the garlic press, Pampered Chef. And I love the garlic press because literally you do not have to peel it. Uh, clove in, we're gonna use six cloves of garlic. You're gonna press, use your little brush to scrape. And then you're just gonna take and scrape out your peel between each clove of garlic, okay? And again, if you're like, oh, Sarah, maybe that's too much garlic for me, you can absolutely cut it in half. This is kind of just uh, the perfect amount that I found that we really like and adds a really great flavor to the rice, okay? All right, so we've got a couple more pieces of garlic and I just put it together so that we can just scrape the whole thing into the dish when it's done. All right. Okay, you guys will have to tell me uh, what your favorite kind of rice dish is, or if you um, have a specific way that you make Spanish rice, or if you've ever made Spanish rice. Um, it's something I grew up making with my mom, but I definitely run into a lot of people that are like, Sarah, I usually just buy the bag of rice that you kind of add water to on the stove. So um, I will tell you guys, it's a super easy recipe and you can absolutely make homemade Spanish rice and keep it vegan. All right, so we've got these ready. And so the key is kind of making sure you get everything ready because you don't want your rice to get too dark. Um, like you want your ingredients ready so that your rice doesn't get too dark and you're kind of like panicking, right? So we're just giving that a little stir. Kind of shake it about. You're getting there. I know you guys can't smell it, but you can also smell it when your rice kind of starts to toast. Oh, that was my other pan. <laughs> So next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna get our uh, liquid ready so that we can pour that in. 
So we have the small can of um, tomato sauce. I think it's like eight ounces. And so we put that in our four cup measuring cup. We need a total of four cups of liquid. Um, the rest we're gonna fill up with veggie broth. But what my little extra ingredient to add some protein in is um, the Pampered Chef pea protein. Uh, this is just a packet. It is um, 13 grams. And so I'm just gonna throw that in with our tomato sauce. And then I'm gonna put some uh, veggie broth in. And I am just using an organic low sodium that I got at Costco. Um, you can absolutely make your own veggie stock. And so I do about yay and then mix it up and then add the rest of um, my liquid so that I don't slosh it all over the counter. Little, little pro tip there from uh, learning uh, from mistakes. All right, here we go. So just until that looks kind of nice and smooth, I think we've got that in business there. So we'll add the rest of our broth there and we're just shy of four cups. So I will grab a little bit more broth, but in the meantime, let's check our rice again. All right, can you guys see that? It's starting to toast. You can see those little brown pieces in there. So that is exactly what we want. And we are gonna go ahead and add our onions and our garlic. So that can cook for a few minutes while our Spanish rice is finishing. Okay. And so basically you wanna cook like your, your garlic and onions for just a few minutes um, until they get really fragrant and kind of looked a little bit cooked down, but we don't want it, the garlic to burn. So um, you don't wanna cook it too long. We're gonna add our liquid and then we'll put our lid on and it cooks for 28 minutes on um, low, uh, low heat. So I'll kind of show you the setting I use on my stove top. Um, I'm using a glass electric um, laptop stove, but um, you know, so it might be a little bit different on, you know, like a gas stove top. My thing is I always say start low you can always add heat to it, but you don't wanna like fry the bottom and have like that crusty bottom. You want it nice and fluffy when you finish. Okay, let me grab the rest of our veggie broth and then we'll kind of let this cook for a few more minutes and add our liquid and we'll be ready for action. Okay, all right. You don't want to go skimpy on the liquid for rice because you don't want it to be dry. You want it to have plenty of liquid so it's nice and fluffy. I'm just going to give this one more little stir, but be gentle so I don't slosh it everywhere. Okay. All right. So we've got all of our ingredients in and then we're just going to need some salt and pepper and some ground cumin seed for seasoning. I put it in this jar, but this is my favorite brand. I pick it up at like Food City or um, like the Canaceria or something like that. And then I just put it into one of my little jars that I have here. Um, okay, so I wish you guys could smell this. It smells delicious. We're looking good here. So the key is not to let your garlic burn doesn't need to cook that long. So we are now going to add our liquid. This will create some steam, so just be careful, keep your hands back. Okay, we'll let that finish doing that. And then we are going to just gently take our spoon, move everything around, and we're gonna add our salt, our pepper, our ground cumin seed, stir it in. Just bring this to a simmer and then we'll put our lid on. So 
So um, pepper, I do about a half a teaspoon, which on this Pampered Chef salt and pepper grinders is about 10 to 12 turns. Um, nothing to make it spicy, just to kind of elevate the flavor. Okay, and then salt, I do about a teaspoon, which is about like 18 to 20 turns. And again, nothing crazy, just to add a little bit of flavor. I got tired of having to uh, grind my salt into a measuring spoon, so I figured out how many turns it was um, so that I you know, could feel fancy and just do turns. But I know that about a half a teaspoon and a teaspoon on our salt and pepper grinders. Um, with your ground cumin, it's probably um, about a half a tablespoon. I just kind of like to sprinkle it in, but start with a half a tablespoon and sprinkle it in if you're a measurer. And then um, after, like just kind of use like a spoon and taste your kind of sauce here and see if that works for you or add a little bit more. So I just kind of sprinkle it across the top and then call it good. <laughs> that's, how, that's how I do that because we like uh, ground cumin. Okay. So again, we're just gonna stir that in and you could see that it had some bubbles and it was kind of coming to a simmer. And then we are going to put the lid on and I'm going to um, turn the heat down because right now we're cooking on a medium heat and then we will turn it down to like the lowest heat without turning it off. Pro tip, make sure you don't accidentally turn it off. Um, the first time I did this, I got it too far past the low and didn't realize I turned it off. 28 minutes later, I checked in and it hadn't cooked. <laughs> so always just kind of right at low or like a little bit, you know, to the left to make sure that it's on. But the key is just to cook it low and slow. Okay, let me grab my lid. Okay. Lid on, temperature adjusted. We're gonna set our timer for 28 minutes and I will put the recipe um, in the comments for you guys. And um, thank you for joining and stay tuned for more fun plant-based recipes. Bye guys.